All right, so I'm going to show you where to start. So at the uh, once you've gone into the metahumans.unrealengine.com website, uh, please make sure that you are logged in, and it won't work unless you have an Epic Games account. So whenever you click on it, uh, it'll ask you to create one. So as a teacher or uh, with your your class, you should definitely set that up ahead of time. And once that's done, then you can start with this step. So we're going to click on the Create MetaHuman. And the first step is to try to find uh, a model that kind of looks like your model. And in our case, we're trying to do ourselves. And so as you can see, this is me down here. So I'm going to try to go with something that kind of looks like that. And none of them will be close. So uh, let's just scroll down here. It's being a little fussy. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, so let's see. Now, I don't know. There's a couple here. I'm going to go with this guy. All right doesn't look like me and that's normal um, you're gonna make it look like you slowly and what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is I'm gonna go through a few uh, steps that you can do uh, through the process so yeah no not really uh, even the face structure is not me so I could pick another person let's go with this person is face structure if I look here looks a little bit more like me now yeah, he has way more hair kind of jealous and he doesn't have a you know a mustache and so on but I'm gonna go with that and we'll adapt as we go so I'm gonna go next so in this next phase so here's my model and as you can see the model is animated and uh, one thing that you should uh, you will see in the instructions it talks a bit about LODs normally the LODs are on auto and since it doesn't really matter because uh, we're just creating the meta humans but if you were doing something you might want to export uh, with lower quality so LOD 0 is the highest quality LOD 1 is a little less I'll just show you what LOD 7 looks like yeah not very attractive you know like that would be a very low NPC and, and one thing you'll notice is where what happened to the hair well hair is actually the heaviest thing on the processor so you see even at LOD 2 this model doesn't actually have hair his hair is so advanced that it doesn't really uh, it wouldn't go into the game so there's ways to do that but for now we're just gonna leave it at auto LOD okay so uh, now what I'm gonna do is click on the blend space and what I'm gonna do is go find three other models that kind of have things that look like me and I'm gonna drag them in like this fella kind of looks like me uh, so I'm gonna drag him in uh, I'm gonna go with this one and what you're looking really for now is face structure okay and you know it doesn't have to be perfect so this is what's called a blend mode so as you can probably see here there are some dots and what happens is if I drag a dot towards this direction it'll kind of make if I select a nose it'll make the nose look like the nose on this model and you know you will have a lot more time to look through these so I kind of went really quickly and that's going to be like that throughout the tutorial so one of the things I also want to do is using my uh, right mouse button is click around. And for now, I'm not going to get too fancy because there's these other two tools, the move and sculpt will be a little more refined. So I'm just going to go with some general outlines. I'm going to see um, forehead here. I'm going to drag it down because I definitely have more forehead than this guy. Uh, my ears are a little bit more in. So let's click on the ears um, and let's see what I get here. Nope, nope. Well, probably this guy has the closest ears to me. So for now, I'm going to just stop there. Um, now, we definitely want maybe the lips. Let's try this fella's lips over here. As I look at my lips. Hmm. See, and, and one of the things that I should you should be doing is looking at the your mood board that you created. So this is my headshot. So I took uh, front, three-quarter, and side. So this is what, I won't go back and forth a lot because throughout the tutorial, my goal is just to get you to, uh, you know, slowly learn the tools and, uh, you know, try something, go back, look, uh, kind of looks like it, doesn't look like it. And, and kind of go back and forth and you know this is not a perfect tool but it is a very great way to get a pretty cool looking model and so 
for the blend space that's really how it goes so i'm going to stop the video there if you have any questions please let me know and in the next video we're going to talk about both move and sculpt all right thank you very much